Hello, everyone. Right here is uh, Thomas, and he will tell you about uh, fast and efficient multi-core processing over the cloud uh, with his uh, distributed computing engine. Yes, hello all. My name is uh, Tuomas Eerola, Thomas, whatever you want to say. Um, I will be talking about um, Tequila Distributed Computing Engine, that is a next generation grid compute solution that supports now also the Julia language. We have been around uh, since 2005, 2006. The product has supported MATLAB, R, Python, C Sharp, even the Fortran that was mentioned in the, in the previous presentation. And uh, this summer, we released a Julia package that makes the, the same solution available also directly uh, from Juno or your Jupyter Notebook. All high performance computing grid compute solutions, they promise fast computing. But unlike the others, Tequila is unique because uh, we provide abstraction and we simplify the use of compute infrastructure. And uh, why is that relevant? That is relevant because uh, most of the people in this room are working in research. And research, being able to, to test ideas, test hypotheses, and, and uh, work efficiently is really key. It's not very nice if you start a research experiment and then you get back to your computer seven hours later and then you have forgotten what was the thing that I was actually testing here. So Tequila is a solution that automates the, the system management and, uh, and enables fast prototyping and implementation and this all aims on, on a better scientific product. The way how we do this is by, by uh, enabling efficient and, and easy distributed computing across your own clusters or even in the cloud. The product is even available in Google. So if you have a Google account, I believe most of you have, you can simply go to Google and use it from there, wherever you are. Um, one thing that could be of interest to you is that uh, we did actually uh, some cooperation with two financial engineers, uh, Peter Verhoek, who is actuary, and uh, Professor Josep Ragusa, uh, who is uh, working in, in research area. And uh, uh, Peter Verhoek is uh, a real expert in MATLAB and R, and, and uh, Professor Ragusa is uh, more a Julia person. Uh, we took a financial value at risk code, uh, a VAR code, and uh, we run that first in R programming language, and uh, running that code on a, a single core PC would have taken more than a day. Then the same code uh, was ported to MATLAB and uh, the run took nine hours. Then an interesting thing happened. We took a MATLAB guy who was interested in Julia language and we told him that, okay, here's the MATLAB code, please quickly port this to Julia. And he wrote that, uh, that uh, Julia code in MATLAB style. So it was certainly not like, you know, optimal for Julia. Um, well, his uh, rapid ported code worked very efficiently, meaning like, you know, that he was able to do it quickly, but uh, it didn't perform exactly very beautiful. But then uh, Josep Ragusa took the code and because he knows how to write Julia properly, use the typing and everything properly, suddenly the performance was radically faster. And uh, now we then applied the Tequila package there. And with the Tequila package, we were able to parallelize that, uh, that uh, uh, easily across 400 CPUs in, in Google. And we got the eight hour long Julia run done in just under two minutes. So because we are in JuliaCon and, and everyone has been showing demos here, I want to take the challenge and I want to show a demo to you too. So over here, I have my Juno. And uh, over here, I have a financial code uh, where the computationally intensive part consists of uh, four loops inside four loops. 
And the tequila package for Julia looks syntax-wise very similar uh, to the parallel macro that uh, is a standard feature in Julia language. So I can apply the at cloud uh, macro to these functions and uh, then I can simply go and uh, run the file. And uh, now my PC will open a connection to my tequila environment that I started in Google Cloud when I was waiting for my turn here. And uh, now Tequila will automatically configure the nodes. They are standard virtual machines. And one of the secret source elements in our product is that we provide automatic configuration. If you have a new, new Julia version or a new package version, the system will automatically configure the nodes so that I don't need to do here anything. Tequila configures the nodes. Now they have the right Julia packages and, and components available to run my simulation. And I can see real time here in my Juno how the simulation is running in the cloud data center. And this is actually pretty nice because uh, I have heard that, uh, that some people have sometimes started a simulation with uh, wrong parameters. And it's uh, very inconvenient, uh, even if you would be waiting a couple of minutes to see afterwards that what was I doing. I had wrong parameters. So when you see things real time, you can instantly like, you know, stop the simulation there. So over here we can see from the statistics that uh, if I would have run that locally on my PC, it would have taken five hours and 58 minutes. And uh, with uh, the, the 400 CPU cores that I had uh, available, I was able to get this run done in just one minute. So this is what we have done. And uh, I personally believe that uh, this can be really beneficial for many of you because uh, many of you are working in research. So, my recommendation is that if you find this interesting, please catch up with me. Let's talk how you can benefit from this. If you want, you can go to this URL or take a photo of that QR code. And uh, you can try that even already today in the Google Cloud. And by the way, there is also a link where you can get free support from our team, meaning that uh, we have, people say that we have pretty good documentation, but still like, you know, if you need to follow through five steps and you miss step number four, you might end up in, in an in interesting situation. So please let our guys help you. That link will take you to this kind of page. Click from there. You are probably starting the testing as an individual user. That will take to the solution in Google and, and you can start your own system there and, and uh, get to speed. I thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found this interesting and I hope that you liked the demo. I have heard that we have today a good party in the evening, so I will be there and, and uh, let's talk there and let's see what we could do together. I have been doing stuff with many researchers. I'm looking forward to doing also with you. Any questions? your own private cluster. Yes. Many universities have installed this. Are, are you from a university or from industry? Both. OK. So many universities and also industrial players have installed this also in their own servers, clusters, in their own basement. Some people have their own private cloud, whatever the term private cloud means. It's an interesting conversation. but but. Uh, that works too. So if you are operating in an environment where you do not want to send data out to an external data center, no worries, you can install that also there. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>